Welcome back to video number two on volume of prisms. We're going to continue finding the volume of prisms. It says find the volume of the prism. Well, the first thing I think of, volume of a prism, I've got to have area of the base times the height. Then I look at my prism. What kind of prism do I have? I find and identify the base. Ooh, the base is a pentagon because I have two pentagons that are parallel, opposite, and congruent. And so I know that I have to find the area of a pentagon unless they give us one. Capital B is 86 meters squared. So they already gave us area of the base. There's square units. So that's 86. Multiplying that by the height, the height being 15, gives us a volume for this particular figure of 1,290. And that's meters. It's volume. So it's cubed. It's cubed. Moving right along. Find the volume of this prism. Well, once again, I, when, I, when I hear volume, I think of the formula, area of the base times the height. Then I take a look at my prism. I look at my prism and I see I've got a trapezoidal base. I have a trapezoid here. I know I have one in the back. Didn't do a very good drawing of it, but I know there's one back there. It's a trapezoidal base. So this, area, this base is going to be the area of a trapezoid. How do I find that? Height times base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2. And I'm going to multiply all that by the height of this prism, the distance between. So let's plug in the numbers. We have 4 for the height. Base 1 and base 2 is 5 and 9, divided by 2, times the height of this prism, which is 6. And now when I do the math, well, 2 goes into 4 2 times. 5 plus 9 is 14. 2 times 14 is 28. 28 times 6. 28 times 6 is 100. And 68, and there are centimeters, that's our units. Of course, it's volume, so it's cubed. So identifying the shape of the base, man, I'm telling you, this stuff is not that difficult. You don't have to do a lot of memory stuff. Uh, example number nine, how many cubic inches are in a cubic foot? Hmm. So I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, here's my cubic foot. I've got this big cubic foot. Hmm. That's one foot by one foot by one foot. And I'm thinking, how many cubic inches are in there? Well, an inch would be something like this. Uh, let's see. Uh, right here would be, I, I don't know how to draw that really in there. Um, but my, my, I mean, I'd have a here, a here, a here. There would be, a, 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 and I know how many of these would I have? Well, I would have 12. And how many would be going up? Yeah, 12. And how many would be going this way? That's right, 12. So if I break those feet down into inches, I've got 12 by 12 by 12. And when I know my volume, area in the base times the height, because I want to know how many of these inches, cubic inches, fit into this cubic foot, I can then highlight my base down here, and that's 12 by 12. And then I know my height. My height is 12. And 12 times 12 times 12, 12 cubed, happens to be 1,728. No, 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 no. Yeah, 1,728, my bad. 1,728, that's going to be inches cubed in one foot cubed. Here we go. Sometimes drawing a picture helps. Moving right along for real life application. It says a baking dish shaped like a rectangular prism measures 9 by 12 by 2. What is the volume of the dish? Hmm. Once again, I think of volume, area of the base times the height. I need a base. Doesn't matter. It's a rectangular prism. So any two units represent my base. So my base times the height, that's 9 by 12. I've got my last one is my height right here. That's times 2. So now when I do all the math, 9 times 12 times 2, 9 times 12 times 2 is quite a bit. 9 times 12, yeah. 9 times 12 times 2, that's 108 times 2 is 216 inches squared. Uh, squared, I'm sorry, inches cubed. Wow, I've never, I finally made that slip going from surface area to volume. 216 inches cubed of cooking space, of food space inside this 
baking dish, right? Very good. Very good. Moving right along. A salt shaker, slate like a pentagonal prism. And there's a prism. It is, uh, has a, it, as its base area is nine, 18 square centimeters. 18 square centimeters. And it has a, nine, a height of 9 centimeters. What is the volume of the shaker? Well, I'm not going to uh, worry too much about too much. Uh, pent the salt shaker. So I know it has a base area. Volume equals area of the base times the height. The height is 9. Area of the base is 18. And 18 times 9 is 162. 162 cubic centimeters of salt can fit inside that salt shaker. There you go. That's what we got. Ladies and gentlemen, our quick write number two. We're done with volume of prisms. Quick write number two. It says a flower garden is a box. And it's shaped like an octagonal prism. The base area is 48 square feet and the height of the prism is 2 feet. What is the volume of the flower garden box? Okay. So I gave you an odd-shaped octagonal prism. I told you what the area of the base is. You multiply it by the height. And there you will have it. That's the end of this video. Please don't forget, write down questions. Questions, questions are always good. Questions are always good. And then, of course, you want to make sure that you have aggressive, urgent work, working your time, using your time effectively to finish off your 45 minutes. Once again, it is a daily choice. The more you make that choice, the easier it becomes, the easier your math becomes, and the more you will develop your character and your personality. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll